Hey guys, I wanted to um, share with you something really quick that I did. A lot of people are making, um, I'll put the picture in the video, but. But they're making like the tumblers with the ice on top. <clears throat> And I just wanted to show you something that I did. And um, I made my own ice. I also had these little things that I was using for ice that I got from Dollar Tree. So this is, this is the shape of this one. These come in a little pack with a little, um, with a little tea light. The little, I guess, a battery operated tea light. And they have a few of these in there. Why? I don't know. I guess this is a sit around it. But I was like, oh, well, that looks like ice. So I got these to make, to use for ice. Um, one of the things I also make is, is fake food or faux food. So this doesn't require ice, but this is a wine that I made. And this is a, this is an ornament, but it's a, a little brownie with the chocolate on there. But I was using the fake ice to make this. This is my little fake, I guess like a little rum and coke or whatever. It's, this was just a little, a little, a little cola, you could say a cola. Um, I was, I'm trying to learn to make these. And this is one of the things that I use the fake ice for, but I didn't, I mean, it looks, I feel like it looks realistic at a glance, but I also wanted, I know I'm used to using large pieces of ice and that I feel like that would have looked better. So I made them. I was at the, the thrift store and they had these little bitty ice trays. You can see there's still one in there. They had these little bitty ice trays for 99 cents. A little pricey for me because they're not worth 99 cents. They would have probably been 10 cents at a yard sale. So I always tell y'all to, you know, look around for different things before you go to the store. Especially if you like yard sales and thrift stores, you can find so many things. But I wanted to, <clears throat> I wanted to make this ice so therefore I paid the, I paid a dollar, which I would have paid a dollar at Dollar Tree. So and I also bought, I also bought a big one. All of this goes to my craft stash. Now I made this with resin and this is Dr. Crafty resin. I don't have a, I don't have a particular favorite resin. Um, just because uh, I'm kind of getting new to using it, so I guess I'll add it eventually. I'll figure out which which is the best resin for me. This resin was actually uh, come from Amazon, and it was just at a good price that I wanted to pay that day. And that's just kind of how I go about getting things. If the price is too high, I'm just I'm not going to buy it. Um. So what I did was I I, I used the resin in these little cups. But of course, to fill up the big one, you're going to need a lot. So I think I took three cup, three of these little cups. Now I get these from Dollar Tree. These are like little shot, plastic shot cups. Yeah, these little shot glasses. So I took about three of these of each one because it's, it's equal parts. And, I'm, and I mixed them up. But before I did that, I took Vaseline just plain old this is vaseline i had in the house nothing fancy i took it on my finger no i didn't i got a paper towel and i rubbed it on the paper towel you just take it on your finger and i feel like the paper towel helps you get in the corners Sorry, y'all. So it helps you get in the corners, and I and I took and made sure I was in every 
nook and cranny of this. I just did it for each one. I even did it for um, the bigger one, which I can still see Vaseline on there. Once this set for, I poured it in here and it set for 24 hours, I had my ice. And all I did was did just, just like you do the regular ice tray, I did it like this and they fell out. But you have to put, red. the resin will stick to this. So you have to put a lubricant on there. Um, and, and the lubricant is the Vaseline. So you need to put the Vaseline and make sure you put it on every corner because if you even miss a spot, well the resin is gonna stick to that spot. And the same with the larger ones. So I have two different kinds of, of ice. Like I said, I, I'm using these for my drinks. When I make, when I'm gonna, I'm gonna make like a, I don't have it out here, but I have a Coca-Cola cup that I'm gonna try to mimic Coca-Cola with. So I wanted the big ice that takes up more room and it looks more realistic. But like there's these two ice in here. I just, and I struggled. These two didn't wanna come out and I'm gonna have to, help them and there may be a sticky spot in there so just to show you it's not always perfect but it did I, I want you to know it did work let's see if i can get these out. oh i heard a little something Sometimes I used to do like that. You don't want to come out. I didn't get these. I'm going to have to figure out a way to get these out. I see that is. Uh, it's coming apart. Oh, go one. So it comes out. Yes, and it still has Vaseline. So all I'm going to do is. Take a little, I have this, I use this to clean um, my shoes when I resell it, if I'm reselling shoes or something, but it's just Dawn dish, dish soap. So I'm just gonna take them in the kitchen, wash them off, dry them, and then they'll be ready to use. But I felt like if you could find these small little square ones, that's perfect for you guys who are doing the ice on top of the, um, on top, top of the tumblers, or if you're doing anything that requires the, the the this this small ice like i said i saw the tumblers <clears throat> and personally i haven't made them because that's just not something that i feel is i feel like it's one of those come and go things if somebody asks for one i will make it for them but i wasn't interested in that so <laughs> So I haven't made that. I may make one for the video. If someone wants to see that in the video, just put it in the comments below and I will make you one. But um, I just wanted to show show you guys how you can make your own fake ice using regular plastic ice trays. And this, it may look a little dirty, but that's actually glitter. Cause I, um, I was mixing up mixing this up for something else and i had some left over so i just poured it in the ice trays and i think it looks like a little fake candy so when i make my little fake cakes i'll probably put this around it i may even i may even break it up so i can sprinkle it on my little fake cakes that i made like i say i make fake foods i'm getting into that i really enjoy doing that and one of the things i needed was fake ice so i thought i would share share with you how I found out a way to make your own fake ice and and you not have to buy it. You maybe even may be able to even um put this in a I will put it in maybe a, a Ziploc bag and then zip it up and then put it in another Ziploc bag and beat it up and then we can get like the crushed ice effect. I haven't tried that yet so that's just a thought that just came to my head. But like I say, you get them out. This one is stubborn, but it's gonna, I'm going to get it out of here some type of way, guys. Uh-oh, I hear a crack. 
I'm going to get it out of here. And these are the only two that gave me trouble. Everything else, it just, it plopped right on out. I didn't, I didn't have any, any issues with any of them. These were the only, oh, it came out. <laughs> these were the only two that gave me trouble. So just to show you what they look like up close. This is fake ice. And I'm gonna try to make them look, next time I think I'm gonna try to make them look a little bit more realistic because my ice, my ice in my freezer isn't always crystal clear. It has a little, you know, little holes or something. For that, but for the most part, I'm satisfied with this. With these, I need these for my, like I say, for my big drinks. I need these for my smaller drinks. And I just was excited how it came out. You see, it, you see, I have it on my hand, and I gotta, I have to go wash these off, guys. But. I would just get a little soap and water. Same same thing you do when you when you order tumblers from somebody. You know you can't put them in dishwasher. You need to wash them by hand. And I would recommend this just just a little mild soap and water, nothing heavy, and not a lot of soap. You just want to get this residue off, actually. And then I would just dry it off with a paper towel. And there you have it, your own soap that you made. And you can make as much as you want with as much uh, resin as the, that you decide to purchase. These are half gallon sizes. Like I said, I'm getting into the resin thing. I try not to use resin because when you use a resin, I think I, I want to say it's the mixing process of the resin. It's um, it's toxic to us. So you need to be in a well ventilated area. You need to have a mask on when you use it and when you pour it. Once it comes out, it's fine. It's hard, but it's just getting to that process. So I try not to use resin. These little things right here. This is resin has nothing to do with it. So I may, I can make these all day. But my drinks I use resin for. So that's my little coffee. You see a little. I was proud. These are my first ones. I'm gonna get better. I want this to be a more, um, I guess the word is translucent, where it's a little, I need to be able to see through this a little bit better. But from your view, it probably looks like a little rum and coke. But anyway, guys, like I say, you can, you have these options. I, Dollar Tree is very fun, um, funny. They have different stuff at different Dollar Trees. So I found this at a Dollar Tree that wasn't close to my house. So I got as many, this was full until I used it on that. Had I had I waited and did this, I wouldn't have used those because I could have this these are really perfect for the tumblers. Cause they, these are smaller than these are smaller than mine. And they have a funny shape. So this really could be your ice on top of your tumblers. But Dollar Tree is really funny. You can always make these, like I say, put it in two plastic bags, get you a little something and just chip away you know beat them just hit a paper a couple times they fall apart you got a little ice so dollar tree hey guys it's coming in a small pack i honestly want to say this is probably this little jar probably holds four or five of those packs because i don't even know if you get as many as you see in this jar in one pack because like i say it comes with a little tea light so i thought it was perfect for ice but i feel like it's not enough in the pack these are resin in plastic molds and i hope you guys enjoyed this tip and i'm making more videos guys be coming out soon and thanks for watching and, and please subscribe and like the video i really appreciate 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 all of the support and all of my subscribers i am over the moon excited and happy that you guys um enjoy my video and i want you to have a blessed and wonderful day